And now we do have the uh, Discovery Screw. All right, Mark Kelly. Followed by Mike Fossum and Karen Nyberg. Kelly shaking hands with the uh, Kennedy Space Center director, Bill Parsons. We mentioned earlier, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency Vice President, Kaoru Mamiya. Karen Nyberg and uh, Aki Hoshide, the JAXA astronaut. I'm pretty sure they're saying congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Pilot uh, Ken Ham, followed by Ron Guerin. So he's had the feeling of a wedding receiving line to me. Uh, Leroy Kane, Deputy Space Shuttle Program Manager and uh, Mission Management Team Chair. Welcoming Ken Hambeck. Next to him is uh, Mike Leinbach, Space Sh Shuttle Launch Director, who uh, sent Discovery on its way two weeks ago. And uh, we actually, uh, there's uh, Garrett Reisman, who uh, looking pretty good after three months in space, I'll tell you. <laughs> he's talking to uh, the feet, obviously. <laughs> and he's, uh, he's talking to uh, Chris Galise, the Associate Administrator for uh, NASA, and uh, Bill Gerstenmeyer. And uh, obviously Garrett's doing pretty well. Yeah, I'm surprised to see him. That's yeah. not typical to get to see a... Uh, International Space Station crew member show shortly, uh, shortly after a, a landing, but obviously he's uh, you know every fairly typical to feel some uh, some effects of returning to gravity, uh, even after a two-week mission, uh, let alone uh, three months. So. Well, he said he was real diligent with his exercise program, so yeah, ob obviously it paid off. <laughs> the uh, Ken Ham was just talking to uh, Stephanie Silson, the Discovery Flow Director. Yeah. She's always happy to get her spacecraft back and turn it around for the next mission. Back in good shape, looks like. And that's uh, next to Mike Fossum and, uh, and uh, Karen Nyberg. That's uh, Kay Hire, I believe. Who was the, the, the acronym that I remember? The the uh, AS the ASP, AS, ASP yeah. the, Astronaut Support Personnel, I believe. I believe you're correct. Yes, and that uh, she was uh, one of the people helping uh, Discovery's crew into the shuttle two weeks ago, and now the crew uh, is doing their their traditional walk around underneath the shuttle. That's always kind of a kick for the guys out there doing the hands-on work on the shuttle to, to uh, shake hands with some of those folks as they come off. Sure. I mean, these are the people that, that uh, they work all those hours to get the Absolutely. spacecraft ready. And, uh, you know, it's it's got to be a good feeling to know that you did your part and, and let the crew can safely carry out their mission. That's some job satisfaction mm -hmm. right there. Absolutely. So they're typically not looking for anything in particular when they do the walk around. It's sort of just in general and anything they may have talked about while they were in in orbit and go kick the tires, <laughs> find a used car or something, right? Yes, we do have a few previously enjoyed shuttles here. <laughs>
as part of the support personnel that uh, come here, obviously, to, uh, to Kennedy. Talk to the crew members or additional astronauts who... Uh, That's a patch. A close-up of uh, the SCS-124 crew mission patch that the, each crew gets a design. On Ken Ham's shoulder. And obviously this is a uh, little bit of time for people to uh, to take a few minutes and it's uh, you know in our in our business we, we we don't don't spend a lot of time smiling and laughing and, and cheering because of the, the dangers of human spaceflight but uh, you know after a successful mission like this and we'll stop and yeah, it's okay to laugh <laughs> absolutely <laughs> so you've got uh, commander Mark Kelly talking to Chris Galise and uh, Bill Gerstenmeyer. My lips reading is uh, not one of my one of my fortes, but uh, I'm sure it's a very interesting conversation that they're having. Yeah, you know, in the next program, there won't be any car tire kicking going on when you walk around. After no, you land, the so. uh, the Orion capsule, whether it's uh, landing either on the land or uh, back to a water landing like we did during the Apollo days, it's uh, going to be a little different than. Absolutely, <laughs> things going to change for us in the recovery business, obviously yeah. a little bit. So, be a little bit different. Still have a, re a re reusable spacecraft, but uh, you're right; it will not be flying in like a like an aircraft and coming down on a runway like this. Looks like uh, Mark Kelly is pulling the crew together and maybe ready to make their uh, their crew statement after landing. Uh, making a guess, but it may be a good educated guess. They all seem to be heading that <laughs> way, <laughs> don't they? They're heading, the microphone they're heading front. frontward at least, so that's... Uh, That being the case, we will step back and listen to Space Shuttle Discovery's crew. It's uh, great to be here on the runway in sunny Florida, um, and it's great to bring uh, Discovery back in good shape. Uh, the vehicle's in, in really good shape. Um, like like to see it that way. It's a, a great day here. We had a really exciting mission that, um, from our point of view, was very, very successful, and we're really uh, glad to be involved in making the space station a, a bigger and more capable place. We installed a uh, Japanese laboratory um, that we'll, we'll uh, pretty soon here, we're going to start to do a lot more science on space station with. Um, did three spacewalks and uh, exchanged the crew of uh, the space station. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it was really a, uh, 
an exciting mission, and we're glad to be back here in Florida. Thank you. All right. We're going to do some photos. Oh, let's step in front of the microphone. Let's do this. Hold on.